So now we're having seen that temple, we're now going to go to the uh, the Gothic area, which is also in the medieval times the Jewish area. Really, until fairly recently, Barcelona wasn't a large city. This is the ancient city that we're in. Uh, the rest is um, added recently, which is why once you get out of this inner area, it's all um, well, quite grid-like. If you look on the map, you'll see streets going north, south, and uh, east, west, roughly. And then the diagonal one is the one that's sort of like it behaves like that thing on New York that goes slightly diagonal and causes that strange gridiron effect on certain buildings. So uh, Barcelona's new new area seems to borrow a lot from um, various other cities, and uh, I think that the idea of grid with a a diagonal there uh, seems to be. Hostal el pintor, hostel the painter. Okay, so you have seen the map. Let me show you this map now, which is the old city. You remember in the big map? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We have the walls. This is the Rambla, so we had a wall here. But that was the Roman city. Uh, surrounded by this wall. We have been here in the heart, in the government square. Yeah. And now we are going to see this neighborhood. We are inside of this neighborhood, which is the old Jewish neighborhood. All the Jewish neighborhoods in Catalonia are called Cal. And Cal that comes from the Latin name Calis, which means narrow street. So all the streets ah, here were Calis is very a narrow narrow, street, I see. So that's where El Calle in Spanish and comes from. At the beginning, the Christians they were all narrow. Jewish people, they lived quite well together. They did not have any problem. They were rich, all of them. So uh -huh. if you are, I mean, if you have money, everyone is happy, yes? Yeah. But uh, then we had the Black Death, the big plague. So a lot of people died because of this big plague. And who was to blame for that? It's not Jewish people because they put poison into the water, which is not true. But that was the excuse to go inside the cal, screaming, get converted, or you die. So some of them, we are in 1348, some of them escaped, some of them stayed. And they were already surrounded by another wall, the cal. The king said that is to protect you, but in fact it was just to, to build a ghetto inside of the... the First outside. ghetto. Then in 1391, they were all expelled from Barcelona. 1391. From Spain, the Jewish people were expelled in 1492, 100 years later. This, they so, went to Istanbul, yes, after? Some of them went yeah. to, to Turkey. Some yeah. of them, they went to Thessaloniki in Greece. Uh -huh. So that's, for example, if you go to Istanbul, you will, I mean, I met a guy and he said, yes, my parents, my grandparents were from Spain and they still speak uh, Ladino. Ladino, Sephardi. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were Sephardi. Yeah. Which is you too. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Big he's a Mexican. <laughs> you, you're Jewish, you don't look Jewish. <laughs> no, it's funny because I mean, Maya, she, she was a young lady from Iran, and she said, Yeah, my parents are Sephardis. Excuse me, you are from Spain. No, 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 from Iran. He said, I know, but you came from Spain, so that is why. I thought you were Sephardi as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Jewish population, the Jewish people, they were quite well educated. This is tragic, were, by the way. Um, That's lawyers, tragic, not doctors, tragic. The joke was tragic. Money lenders, that was the most important. They were the first bankers. In fact, the Christians couldn't work with money. So they asked the Jewish people to work with money. So that's Could you kindly work with money for us? Well, I'll think they about it. Spell or kill. Um, what we have from the Jewish neighborhood, we don't have many remains, but we have a little bit the ambience of this, the atmosphere of the Jewish cult. Yes? So we are going to walk a little bit in the Jewish cult. Okay? Okay. okay? okay, let's go. Okay. Are you familiar with the Jewish culture? A little Come bit. On. Yes? A little okay. bit. Ksat, ksat. Sorry? Ksat, a little bit. Okay. But that's Hebrew, not Ladino.
Sidges. That must be Sidges. Sidges. Is that town? Right. It is half an hour from. Because it says Sidges Medievalis. Is that, does that mean? Medievalis. Me Medievalis. Medievalis. Ah, Medievalis. No, it's uh -huh. more a modernist okay. town. Okay. All right. Because that's, that's what it said in there Sidges Medievalis. Yeah. So, probably this is the corner, the most typical corner right. in the uh, medieval Jewish neighborhood. You would this way, you would see all these narrow streets. Mm. But you have to imagine, now we have this wide spaces. We don't have a wall that surround the, the neighborhood. But at that time, we, they had only two entrances. One was at that street where we've been just now, and the other one was at the end of this. So the wealthy people in the Jewish neighborhood used to live here in San Domenico del Cali. And um, the population of the Jewish Cali was 4,000 people living in this small area. In most of them, so we were mostly no, Mrs. Ars. Maybe. And we oh. know that they need a This is the hole where it used to be. You see? Yes. They've also got one up there. Holes where they used to be. According to the history, it was at the end of this street on the left hand side, inside the house. And also they have the synagogue. They had um, the, the schools for girls, the schools for, for boys, separate. But the synagogue, you don't have to imagine a big church <coughs> as a synagogue. They were just a room inside of a, of a house. Yeah. So here, for example, on the right-hand side, we are going to see now, there is the major synagogue. But according to the Museum of History, it's a fake one, it's not a real one. But for sure, it's a Jewish house. So we will just walk by this synagogue and I will show you different things, OK? okay. So let's continue this way. Samuel Hasardi, his life burns Akodesh. forever. Samuel Hasardi was a rich man in the Jewish Akodesh. neighborhood. And uh, he gave a lot of money to the charity, to the poor people in the Jewish neighborhood. So uh, they want to thank him, so that's why they just put this stone here for Samuel Hasardi. Huh? It's not a real one, the original one is in the museum. Hasardi, yes. a copy here of this stone. Okay, and that was the street Samuel for Hasardi. the girls. It was called the street of girls, because here we had the school for the girls. So you can see a little bit the, the, the construction as well, you know, narrow streets, and we had a wall at the end of this street. So everything was very dark. Yeah. Hmm. And um, you have heard about Montjuic, yeah. the mountain, Montjuic, the hill, which is just near the port. Montjuic means mountain of Jewish people. And the Jewish people had the cemetery in Montjuic. They had to have the cemetery far away from the city center, near a river or near the sea. So that's why the cemetery, their cemetery, was there. When they were expelled, they used the stones from the cemetery to build, for example, the royal palace, the cathedral. And if you walk in the city, you can see just stones written in Hebrew that are part of the royal palace. I will try to show you some. To take video? Yeah. Yes? OK, let's continue. I do both. This is this is a film. This is sorry. This is snapshots. It's mm. about all I can say about my sorry. photography. And uh, this is a film of sorts, mm. which is about all I can say about my filmography. Continue. This is how long. How long? No. Too long. Do we know 
no because of this hole. Yes, no? Do I know what? This hole. Yes, here. that's the mezuzah. Yes. I saw them on the other ones too. Yes, but that they is were, like, took it that away. Is the, yes. Yes. So that is an old medieval Press. mezuzah. The mezuzah is like a hole. They put inside a, just a little box, wood or metal, with a parchment inside, with a prayer, which says, Shema Israel. My God is our Lord, and it's the Lord your God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy strength, and with all with all thy mind and all thy strength. Yes, behold, le hafsha, behold, meol deta, or something like that. I can't remember the whole so thing. So you know now. <laughs> <laughs> little bit, little bit.